this video demonstrates my Arcos 5 internet tablet running Froyo, as well as a few other operating systems, including a Linux distribution. So right here I'm in stock 1.6 donut operating system. And I'll go into a about, about device. And you can see it says Android 1.6 there. And now I'm going to shut this device down. Power it off. I'm going to reboot it. It'll reboot, but I'm going to show you that it has a developer edition operating system installed on it. See, it says developer edition there. Open AOS. One of the things I usually like look for when I buy a device like this is like a community of developers behind it that aren't really, really official. We can see here I have a bootloader. There's the Arcos up on the top. And then there's at the very bottom, if you keep scrolling, there's like a Linux distribution. I'm not going to go into that. But there's Froyo Alpha 3. So this community is working on having Froyo for the Arcos internet tablets, which is basically the latest version of Android 2.2. And you can see it's loading Android now, this little Android logo. Now this is like a developer edition, there are still people are working on it, you know, it's Alpha 3, so it's not going to work perfectly, but you can see this is really, shows the time, which is wrong, and it shows the title bar. I mean, you can unlock it, and I put a Nexus Live, live wallpaper on here kind of prove it's Froyo. You can see like this. It's like all that. Go back to home. All those nice animations on it. There's widgets. And there's that analog clock which is with the Froyo. Now I'm going to go into settings and show you that it is Froyo. And Android 2.2 right there. Kernel, build number, all that good information. It is Froyo, and has all those Froyo features, but it, it's kind of flawed in some ways. See, I'm loading. This is the internet browser. It crashed last time I tried. Yeah, see, it crashed. It's still under development there's like flaws all over the place but it like works same in IRC you see all the different home screens it's full blown froyo but it has some problems because mainly it's just not complete yet But that's really good because this is a Generation 7 device, and the company Arcos made a bunch of new tablets that come with Froyo. But this thing is a really good tablet, and I don't really want to send money to get a new tablet when I can get the Froyo on this thing by just doing a little bit of a hack. And it's actually very simple. This is kind of just a demonstration to show you that I got Froyo on this thing. I will be making a video going over this like as a tutorial on how to install it if you want it so please comment if you want it and it's very very simple it's just you basically just install a developer edition firmware on it I said a dual boot one so it'll have the stock Android stuff so it'll still work like a normal Arcos tablet would but it also has the Froyo as well as the Linux distribution I'm going to also show you a little problem with the keyboard. Seeing your documents to go. Looks like I had to download something. I haven't been using this much. Because I just installed it yesterday. Now I guess I can search. And then.
Hello. Although, see, I tip and hit the D, and then delete it when I put the L. It's just a little bit flawed with these keys around here. Like I can click the, it will work, but sometimes I'll hit the A. It's just kind of flawed. It's not really. It's kind of like touchscreen drivers. This is the developer edition. People actually had to install these drivers and everything, but it works, and that's the thing. I'm gonna go back to that thing that says it's Froyo. Just one last time. And then I'll end. But anyways, you can check out zealstudios.net. That's where my blog is. You can see, see all these technology, like, vlogs and tech updates. Come back tomorrow. I'll have a te tech update video with all the latest in the news related to tech. I'll have another one on Thursday. A podcast on Saturday. And just keep on subscribing to this channel and you get all this information. And if you comment on this and if you really want to see me install throw you on this thing or live stream it or something, please like comment and I'll I'll be happy to show you it. So that's about it. You can follow me on Twitter, Matt, because I'm in DZL.